chapter number four. This is the last one, I promise. But there are so many different options for you to choose from in your custom basket. I want to get through them all for you. So let's start again down at the bottom of this video. I have the PDF if you already don't have it up. The first plant on there on this next page is Bacopa. A white flower, I actually still have some baskets of it um, growing this year already. Um, it's just beautiful. It's like this dainty little white flower that goes with absolutely everything. You, white's perfect, right? If you're trying to figure out what am I gonna put with it, this is like the fallback. It's wonderful, it's super easy to take care of. One thing to remember, a lot of times during the summertime, it like drops all of its blossoms off. And people call me and they say, it's just green, Brian, what am I doing wrong? If it dries completely out and it gets too hot, it just, it like freaks out, just like we do. Um, it'll drop all its flowers, but don't freak out. Water it really, really good. And in a couple weeks, keeping it watered, it's just gonna bounce right back. So don't freak out, it's something to remember with Bacopa. The next one is Lantana. You don't, in all the baskets I have planted right here, you won't find any Lantana because it likes to be hot. So I wait until we roll out this video and I'll start planting your baskets in a couple weeks. It's a beautiful flower. It's really cool if you have a really hot spot, this plant works great. But sometimes, like when you come to pick up your basket in May, you won't see it because it, it really hasn't started flushing out yet. So, but by the summer, it'll really start becoming a star and by fall, it's, it's taken over your basket and it's absolutely beautiful. So just something to remember for Lantana. The next plant is Diacea. And Denim blue is such a cool color. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know who picks these names for these flowers, but denim blue is, I don't know how to describe it. It's like all these different shades of blue in one flower. It's like these little dainty flowers that kind of come out throughout your basket. Really, really pretty. Um, it's in one of our pre-done containers at the beginning of chapter number one. Lophos is this trailing vine that's gonna come straight across your basket, go down, and it has these just beautiful bell-shaped flowers on the end, on the tips. There's a white and there's a red. Hummingbirds love them. It doesn't have a lot of flower power. It only blooms kind of down at the bottom, but um, what a great accent to some other stuff that does bloom well. So think about this one for your custom basket. Lobelia, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay this out for you. Lobelia is going to be beautiful when you pick it up. It's going to be blooming. It comes in all these different colors. We have blue, light blue, ultraviolet, which is a purple, and it's gonna look great. But come, uh, come about July, you go through the 4th of July, it's all looking good, everything's great, and then you're gonna go out there one day and it just like gave up and it decided that it was done. Everything else in your basket's great, you've been watering it, but Lobelia will just decide sometimes that it's done. And it's done, it's okay. Just pull it out of there, let the other flowers go. Just remember that when you choose Lobelia in your hanging basket. It just does that sometimes. Sunbini, a beautiful little white, or excuse me, yellow flower. It's, it's small, but it adds some extra texture to it. Scavola, I know, Scavola. I, it's fan flower, that's what I usually call it because I can't ever remember to say Scavola right. But it, um, Again, it kind of blooms on the tips like Lofos does, so it kind of pokes its way in, out, and around the basket. It's more for texture. It's pretty vigorous, so like the Vista Petunias it will keep up with. It comes in white, purple, and brand new this year is Starlight, which is a white and purple together. We've got a photo of it here for you. It's beautiful. It's super easy to take care of. It's a great addition to your basket. Blue Zephyr is just a little blue daisy, something else that we like to use that we wanted to make available for you. The next one uh, on your list there is a kufia or a hummingbird plant and it's called vermilionaire. And this plant blooms all summer, but it's gonna come up and create these little spikes coming out of the top of the basket that kind of drives me crazy because I want that little ball shape of flower, but my mom loves it. The hummingbirds will flock to it. It's really, really great plant. It's worth putting in your basket, but just remember it's gonna go straight up. So keep that in mind. Daisies, there's osteos is another name for them. There's a trailing purple, trailing white, great plants. There's a white biddens and a yellow biddens, another kind of um, just an accent plant. And then on the last page of that PDF that we gave you is verbena. Something to remember about verbena. It, um, it looks great sometimes and then it kind of stops. And then it's gonna bloom really good and looks great and then it kind of slows down. That's just the way it does, it's part of the process. But the varieties that we picked here are beautiful. Large blossoms, really good. 
Vampire is a really dark red. There's pink, which is great. Mango, which is more, it's like a mango, right? It's kind of a peachy off color. The dark blue is super vigorous, grows really, really fast. White out, the best white verbena I've ever seen. Really nice, really bright flowers, but super vigorous as well. Stormburst, it's kind of um, like a periwinkle with a white stripe to it. Um, beautiful flower, really good, kind of an off color to it. Violet ice, um, just like it says, it's kind of um, purple with like a, a white metallic sheen to it. Beautiful plant, very vigorous as well. Keep that in mind. The last plant, Lobularia. Lobu what? Let's be honest, it's really alyssum. But this is like alyssum on steroids. This is not your grandma's alyssum. This plant grows and grows and grows and grows. Super fast, it smells sweet and wonderful, adds great fragrance, but here's something to remember. It like causes these white rain showers of flowers every time you touch it. So like we'll come out to this greenhouse to pull a basket and bring it up and we'll be covered in white flowers. Some people love it. My mom drives her crazy because she has to go out there and sweep her porch. Just keep that in mind. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. That's a lot of different plants. Um, I'm sorry, I had to break it into four different videos to get it all in there. Um, thank you for sticking with me, but okay, here's the story. So this is what you gotta do. We've gone over all these plants. You're gonna go to baumanfarms.com. On there, you can click on a link that's going to allow you to order your favorite basket. You're going to put your information in there, you're going to pick the size of the basket you want, and then you're going to pick the plants that you want to go in there. There's a section at the end where you can put notes saying, hey Brian, I really want five different types of plants. I know, like, whatever you, or you have questions. I don't know if this works. What do you think about this? Put that down. We're then gonna call you. I don't want any credit card information online. You don't have to worry about it. We're gonna give you a call. We're gonna go over your order, make sure we have it right. For the baskets, we just ask that you put a $20 down payment on them. Um, I'm gonna take care of it. I'm gonna come out here, check on it. Um, we'll take that payment information over the phone. And then in May, when you come to pick it up, give me a call beforehand. There is literally hundreds of these baskets in here. So I gotta go find yours. I try to keep them all in alphabetic order as best I can. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I put together all these combos. I love putting all these plants together, but seeing what you've created is, it inspires me. It's great. I love it. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a lot of work putting all these different together, but we really enjoy it. We really love seeing your face when you come to pick it up and we've got this big, beautiful basket that you created. If you have questions, give us a call. Um, go to our website, drop me an email. Um, thank you. We appreciate you taking this time and normally this would be our biggest class with 100 plus people in here um, and we're doing it on video this year, but um, we really appreciate all of your support and we look forward to seeing you soon.